Third-party integrations such as TippyStream, Streamlabs, and more are a great way to showcase recent subscribers, donations, stats from your game, and even what your chat is talking about right on your stream. Dynamic alerts like these make it easier to engage with your viewers while streaming, and keep them coming back for more since they feel much more involved. In this tutorial, we'll be going over just how easy these integrations are to set up and use. Every stream integration works very similarly in Lightstream. Each of them outputs stream graphics to a URL link that you'll copy and paste right back into Lightstream. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll use TippyStream as an example. Start by adding a new layer and select third-party integrations. Next, I'll select TippyStream from the long list of integrations you see here. Please note that the logo and the lines you see here will not appear on stream. It's merely to demonstrate where the alert will appear. Once placed, you can choose to resize the area or scale the alert. Dragging while resize area is selected changes the size of the box that the widget will adjust to. Scaling will keep the proportions of the widget intact. See how everything proportionally gets larger as I drag? Finally, notice that the layer I just added has a notification to let me know that there's nothing connected to it yet? I'll need to head over to the TippyStream website, log in, and grab the appropriate URL for the widget I want to show. Let's do that now. There are a lot of options here from simple alerts to goals to chat boxes. For this tutorial, let's set up a simple follow alert so whenever a viewer follows your channel, it will appear on the screen. Once you're logged into TippyStream, you want to go to the alert box on the left side here and select Add New. In the Follow subsection of Alert Box, you can set things like layout, animations, image, sound, and more. There are a lot of options here, so feel free to play with them until you get the look you want. Make sure the switch is on for Activate Follow Alerts, and once you're done, save your widget and then head to the bottom and copy the Embed link. Now, let's head back to Lightstream and paste the link into my TippyStream integration. I can use the test function in TippyStream to make sure it's connected and placed where I want. I'll do that now quickly on my other screen. Voila, there it is. And there you have it, you're ready to showcase your new followers right on stream. This is just one example of how to use a third party integration. There are a bunch of options to add dynamic content to your stream. You should definitely play around and explore each of them and see what best fits your needs. Thanks for tuning into this tutorial and if you have any questions be sure to drop them below or in our live chat within the studio. See you next time.